In this video, we're going to look at how to collect like terms. It's very important in maths that you're able to simplify expressions. Something like this, a plus a plus a plus a. Well, a plus a is 2a, plus a is 3a, plus a is 4a. So that would be equal to 4a. And that makes sense because a plus a plus a plus a is the same as 4 times a. Let's have a look at this one. 3c plus 2c. Well, if you've got 3c's and you add 2c's, altogether you'd have 5c's. And again, that makes sense because 3 times c plus 2 times c would be the same as 5 times c. So whenever you're collecting like terms, you just add up how many of the letters you have. Next. Sometimes you might have a subtraction, like here, 8y take away 3y. Well, 8y's take away 3y's would be equal to 5y's. Next, 9w plus w. Now, this one's slightly different than the previous ones because you'll notice we've just got a w on its own. Well, if you had 9w's and you add a w, that would be 10w's. Also, if you want to, if you've got a w on its own, well, a w on its own is the same as 1w. Remember, 1 times w would be the same as w, but in algebra, you tend to just write the w on its own. So, if you wanted to, you could put a 1 here and go 9w's plus 1w would be 10w. Or you could just add it, 9w's plus w is 10w's. Next, a plus c. Now this video and this topic collecting like terms is about simplifying expressions. Now in algebra, whenever you're adding different letters, you can't simplify it. You can only collect like terms. So you could add a's to a's, b's to b's, c's to c's, numbers to numbers. You could add x squareds to x squareds. You could add a w's to a w's. You can only add the same. You can only collect or add the same terms. So here you've got a plus c. Well, you can't add a and c together. It would just be a plus c. Okay? So you can't add different letters together or different terms together. However, if you've got an xy together, that's a term. Okay? So you've got xy plus 4xy. Well, 1xy. 1xy plus 4xy's all together would be 5xy. Okay? So if you've got two letters beside each other, that's a term. So an xy plus 4xy's would be 5xy's. In this one, however, we had a plus c. Well, a is a term, c is a term. They're different. You can't add them. So it's just a plus c. Next, x squared plus x squared. If I had an x squared and I had another x squared, well, all together, that would be 2 x squareds. So the x squared is the term, and when you add them together, you have 2 x squareds. Next, 5c plus 5c take away 12c. Well, 5c plus 5c is 10c. And 10c take away 12c, well, that's 10c take away 12c. Remember, 10 take away 12 is minus 2, so this would be minus 2c. Because 5c plus 5c is 10c, and then take away the 12c would be minus 2c. Next, x plus x plus 2x plus 5 plus 3. So here we've got different terms. We've got x's and we've got numbers. So let's add up the x's to begin with. x plus x is 2x's plus 2x is 4x. And then let's add up the numbers. 5 plus 3 is 8. Next, 4a plus 2c plus 5a plus 9c. So let's add up the a's to begin with. 4a's plus 5a's, well that's 9a's. And 2c's plus 9c's is equal to 11c's. So the answer would be 9a plus 11c's. Now just be careful, whenever you're collecting the same letters, so here I look at the 4a, and then I add, so I have a look at 4a, and then add 5a. And 4a plus 5a is 9a. Here I had 2c's, positive 2c's, plus 9c's is equal to 11c's. Next. 8a plus 7w plus 2w take away 3a. So we have got 8a's and we're taking away 3a's. Well, 8a's take away 3a's would be 5a's. Then we've got 7w's plus 2w's. Well, 7w's plus 2w's would be plus 9w. So the answer would be 5a plus 9w. The next one, 6s plus 4t take away 8s take away 5t. Well, here we've got 6s's take away 8s's. Well, 6s's take away 8s's is equal to minus 2s's. Next, we've got 4t take away 5t. Well, 4t take away 5t is equal to minus 1t. But in algebra, you tend to write just minus t. You wouldn't write minus 1t. You would just write minus uh, t. If you did write minus 2s, 
minus 1t. It would still be correct, but the best thing to do is just to write it as minus t. And lastly, 10x take away 5y, take away x, take away 2y. Well, here we've got 10x's and we're taking away an x. We've got 10x's take away an x. Well, 10x's take away 1x is equal to 9x. Now, you need to be careful here with the y's. We have got minus 5y take away 2y. Well, minus 5 take away 2 would be minus 7y. So the answer would be 9x minus 7y. Whenever you're simplifying the letter terms, it's very important you look at what's in front of them. So here we had minus 5y take away 2y. 10x take away x. Okay, and our last example. 4x squared, 4x squared plus 8x squared. Well, that's 12x squared. And then let's simplify our v's. So we've got minus 5v plus 8v. Well, minus 5 plus 8 would be 3. So plus 3v. So the answer would be 12x squared plus 3v.